Hey everybody, I have a double plot twist case for you today. This case is from back in 2020 and it involves two clients who matched as close family to first cousins on Ancestry and it they, they were bickering back and forth about what was going on and how they related. So we got to the bottom of it. Welcome to Client Stories with Amy. Clients came to us and gave us this rundown. She took a DNA test for fun and she matched to somebody as a first cousin, close relative match and doing some research. They thought they were first cousins at first when she reached out to the other lady, the DNA match lady. And then it comes to find out that she's like, no, this chart says we're probably half siblings. I think you're my half sister. And this is where the bickering starts. The match is saying, well, my dad has to be your dad. My dad's my dad, so he must be your dad. And our client is saying, no, my dad's my dad, so he must be your dad. So they were going back and forth of fighting about whose dad was whose dad for like three weeks until our client says, you know what, we need some help. We need to figure out whose dad is who. I wanna to get to the bottom of this. If you're my sister, I, I want to know how we relate and who is our dad, like that's it. Is it yours or is it mine, who is it? So she came to DNA Angel, she sent the website over to that new DNA match. The new DNA match says, yes, absolutely. Let's do it, I'm down, let's figure this out, I'm ready. So they came to DNA Angels, got screened DNA, and the tree is given access to us. We go through everything and we have a surprise. Neither man is their biological father. So when we give this news to them, it's like none of, none of the, your dad and your dad is not your guys' dad. Like none of them are, somebody else is. And they were like, WTF, what did our mothers do? And so they go to mom, they go to mom. Our client's mom is saying, no, your dad's your dad. I don't care what they say. The other person, the DNA match half sister, her mom says, okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yes, it's true that your dad isn't your dad and you were actually donor conceived. So that was the plot twist. Neither one of their dads were their dads. Neither mamas had an affair or anything nefarious going on with another man. They were donor conceived. So now that we know that the client's half sister is donor conceived we have to assume that the other one is too but mama and daddy are not coming clean with it so we told the client to do it this way have a conversation with mom and dad so you match with the half sister matched on the paternal side so you know you guys share the same dad and that she was donor conceived bring that to the table just the facts no judgments no nothing and she did it that way and her mama came clean and said yes you were donor conceived Usually when we get a case that's a donor conceived case, we're able to see it pretty quickly that this is probably going to be a donor conceived case based on how many half sibling matches, but there was only these two. There was no other ones. It was literally these two. So we ended up getting the biological father, the sperm donor identified, handed that information over to both women and one of them decided to reach out. Actually the half sister DNA match that decided to reach out, our client was too nervous too. She's like, no, I want to sit back. I want you to do this. And if everything's good, then I'll come say hi, like whatever. I want you to do it first because I'm too nervous too, which is okay. So the DNA match half sister reached out to the donor dad and he says, great. I've been kind of waiting for this day to come. I see all those ancestry, my heritage and 23 and me commercials on TV. I knew this day was coming. How are you? And would you like your medical information? And what else do you need from me? What do you want from me? I'm an open book. And so she asked all the questions and got her, our client, her DNA sister, um, half sister match, got them in contact with the sperm donor dad and they have a relationship. He's got two children that he had with his wife after the donation and they know about these two girls and they said that they're excited. They, they kind of had an idea that this was coming too because they said their dad had kind of mentioned that maybe some half siblings would come about one day but didn't explain fully. But once these girls came out, he explained everything to them. And then our client and her half sister match, they said that it's been great and their new siblings are like cousins to them. They're not super close, but they're close enough and they love it and it's great. And they see each other every year at a family reunion, which is really, really cool. I love that, that they do that. But that's it for today. Don't forget to hit like, follow and share and I'll see you guys later and go check out our YouTube channel. And then if you need to know how to become a client, go up to our link tree and check out our website. But that's it. Bye guys.